welcome to today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. We open up at Taylor's office and she's speaking to Ridge on the phone about the situation. She's telling Ridge that he doesn't have to come back. She hangs up the phone because someone walks in and we realize that it was Sheila. Sheila claims that they are not so different and asks Taylor to accept her relationship with Bill. Then we move over to Forrester where we see Charlie and Carter are discussing the up- upping of security now that Sheila is released. Then we see Brooke is at Deacon's restaurant and tells Deacon that the food is amazing. He is happy that Brooke and Hope is proud of him. Back at Forrester, we see Katie tells Carter how Bill is blackmailing Steffi and Phil and she found out how. Back at Taylor's office, Taylor tells Sheila the only peace and harmony is when she gets behind bars. Back at Forrester, Katie tells Carter about Bill's proposal to put Sheila behind bars if she takes him back. We see Carter's face is a bit pissed and worried. Back at Deacon's restaurant, Deacon tells Brooke that he wanted to see Rich face when her and Taylor turned him down says that she and Taylor are new friends at the moment. Deacon laughs. Deacon is shocked by the news that Taylor and Brooke are BFF. Deacon jokes and says maybe him and Rich need to do so also. Brooke laughs. Back at Taylor's office, Taylor reminds Sheila of all the people she has shot. Plenty of people. Sheila claims no one needs to fear her. Or get any extra security. She is going to hurt no one. Sheila also reminds Taylor about the day she saved, saved her life at the hospital. And Sheila tries to manipulate Taylor for sympathy. Back at Deacon's place, Brooke laughs and says that hell has frozen over once already. She doubts it will freeze over twice to make Deacon and Rich friends. Brooke believes that Deacon has a woman in his life. And then we see he thinks about Sheila. Back at Taylor's office, Sheila tells Taylor that she should forgive herself. Taylor tells her to stop her manipulation tactics. She will never forgive Sheila. Sheila laughs and leaves. Taylor then breaks down scared and cries. Back at Forrester, Katie tells Carter she saw hope when he said that. When Bill said that to him, Carter then asks if she is sure she won't go back to Bill. Katie claims that she, she deserved better than Bill. Back at Taylor's office, we Taylor see Taylor is shaking and crying and Taylor doors knocks and she is frightened. We realize that it's Brooke. Brooke realizes that something is wrong and asks what's wrong. She tells her that Sheila was there. We see Taylor tells Brooke that Sheila compared them and how they are both shooters. This is affecting Taylor. Brooke tells her that they are not the same. Taylor says Sheila is right. They are not that different because she did left Bill to die. Brooke tells her Sheila does this all the time, gets into her head and makes her doubt herself. Brooke stress how amazing Taylor is compared to Sheila. Taylor expressed that she is breaking down. The guilt is affecting her. Brooke says that they will fight Sheila and she is there for her always. We end with Brooke hugging Taylor while she cries. Thanks for watching. Bye.